Hi guys, welcome to Step 9. In this video, I tutorial natin yung series natin on uh, distance rate time problems or uh, tinatawag din natin na motion problems. No? So if you've watched the two recent videos no, dito sa series na to, pinag-usapan natin yung uh, motion in opposite direction. No? Yung palayo sila sa ito siya from the same starting point. Tapos yung dalawa naman na car na oh, car and the bus, no? na moving toward each other. No? So dito, iba naman yung sitwasyon. Yung uh, merong uh, maunang aalis, tapos merong hahabol kailan ma-overtake. No? Okay, so tignan natin yung problem. A car travels from city A to city B at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. After an hour, another car no, from the same starting point travels the same route. No? So same lang yung daan nila at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. In how many hours will the second car overtake the first car? Okay, so tignan natin. So medyo iba yung technique nito no? kaysa dun sa previous uh, uh, video. No? Sa previous video na dalawa, no? medyo hindi tayo gumawa ng table. Pero dito, uh, advantage natin na gumawa ng table. No? So again, yung relationship na pinag-uusapan natin dito, distance, rate, at saka time. So pwede natin ilagay na distance, rate, at saka time. No? Okay? So, meron tayong car 1 yung nauna. Tsaka meron tayong car 2. Ano muna yung given? Speed, no? Ibig sabihin yung rate yung given. Diba? Speed is equal to rate. No? So, same lang yan. Speed tsaka rate. Pag uh, distance rate time problem yung pinag-uusapan. So, ang alam natin, ang unang car, ang speed niya ay 60 kph, di ba? So, KPH itong rate na to. And then yung time is hours. And then yung distance is kilometers. What about the second car? Mas mabilis siya, naman. So, 80 kilometers per hour yung isa. So, pag nauna yung car 1 na 60, yung car 2 mas mabilis. So, pag tuloy-tuloy lang yung kanilang uh, speed, no? Eventually, ma-overtake ni car to si car 1 kasi mas mabilis siya. No? Okay? Anong, ano naman ang given? Yung time, no? Yung time. Mas nauna si car 1 umalis. No? So, alimang, nag-travel na si car 1 ng 8 hours. Ilan? Ilan yung tin-travel ni car to 7 hours? Kasi mas after an hour pa siya umalis. No? So, mas maraming time na, na itin-travel si car 1 ng 1 hour. Okay, so pag ang time ni car 1 ay t, no? ano ang time ni car 2? If we let the, the time of car 1 be t, mas mababa siya ng isang oras. So t minus 1. Pag 8 ito, 8 minus 1. Pag 9 ito, 9 minus 1. Pag 10 ito, 10, 10 minus 1. Pag 5, 5 minus 1. Okay? Ano ang distance? Ano ang formula ng distance? Distance is rate and time, di ba? Distance is equal to rate times time. So, ang rate natin ay 60 at yung time natin ay t. Meaning, the distance of car 1 is 60 times t. This is rate, this is time. The formula for distance is rate times time. So, 60 yung distance, yung time niya ay t. What about the second uh, car? 80 yung kanyang rate tapos t minus 1 yung kanyang time. Okay, meron na tayo. Kompleto na tayo. Kailangan mag-draw tayo ng diagram para makita natin. So, si car 1, pumunta siya sa... This is uh, city A and this is city B. So, papunta siya sa city B. Hindi pa siya nakakarating. Si car 2... Maybe I should put car 1 here. This is car 1, car 2. Papunta rin siya doon. So, aabutan niya sa at some point here. Aabutan niya si car. Car at aabutan ni car to si car 1 at some point, no. Uh, papunta sa CTB. Oops. So, this is CTB, ware. Ah, 
and this is CTA. Okay? So, ano masasabi mo sa at the point where the second car overtakes the first car? Ano masasabi mo sa kanilang distance? Para yung distance nila, no? At that instant, no? So, meaning the distance of the two cars, no? The distance of the two cars, the distances traveled by the two cars are the same. Meaning they are equal. So, pag equal sila, we can equate, di ba? 60T equals... 80 times T minus 1. So solving, we have 60T equals distributive property. This is 80 T minus 80. Tanggalin natin yung T dito. So magiging 60 T minus 80 T equals negative 80. And negative 20 T. 60 minus 80 is negative 20 equals negative 80. Meaning T we divide both sides by negative 20. So, magiging neg negative 80 divided by negative 20. Pag nag-divide ako ng negative 20 dito sa negative 20 t, mawawala na yung negative 20 t na lang matitira. I also divide the right hand side by negative 20. So, magiging t ko ay 4. Question, yan ba yung sagot? So, ang t... Sagot ko ay 4. 4 hours yung T. This is the time traveled by the, or the duration or the time traveled by car 1. Yung duration traveled by car 2 is 3 hours. Diba? 4 hours, 3 hours. So, ano sagot dun sa dalawang yan? Tignan nyo yung tanong. How, in how many hours will the second car overtake the first car? Second car yung ating reference point. Kasi, Hindi mo na mabilangin yung first car kasi sabi niya, ilang oras ma-overtake ng second car. Ibig sabihin, kailan ba nag-start yung second car? Dun, yun yung ating reference points. So actually, the answer here is 3 hours. In 3 hours, ma-overtake ni car 2 si car 1. You can check, no? Kung si car, car 1, ang, ang speed niya ay 60. No? Ang speed niya ay 60 kilometers per hour. So, times 4, that's 240 kilometers. Diba? Si car 2, uh, 80 kilometers per hour times 3, 240 kilometers din siya. So, pareho sila. At, at a particular instant, pareho sila na na-travel na, na distance. Which means, yan yung particular instant na yung particular moment na ma-overtake ni car 1. See? Sorry na. O ma-overtake ni car 2 si car 1. Okay, gets nyo? So, sana ay uh, uh, natuto kayo dito sa ating mixing tutorial. No? So, kung hindi nyo naintindihan, ulit-ulitin at uh, intinding mabuti. No? Uh, usually, hindi yan nagsisink in for the first time. No? So, pwede nyo ulit-ulitin itong series na to. Mga simple problem na to. In fact, uh, this is categorized as easy. No? So, Yung mga susunod na problems na ipopost ko, medyo mas complicated pa ng konti. So, dapat naintindihan nyo na ito, no? Okay, so gusto kong invite sa Sipnayan yung ating website at uh, sipnayan.com, no? At syempre yung ating YouTube channel. Mag-subscribe kayo, share the videos with your friends, no? Para hindi lang kayo yung magaling, dapat sila din, no? So, healthy competition. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.